Hallo, willkommen auf Poker Temo. Ich bin der Exilium und wir machen heute weiter mit Gibius A Chitulu Adventure. Ähm, wir hatten letztes Mal in den Aktenschrank reingeguckt, haben Barnabas äh, Akte nachgeguckt und er hat ja eine Tochter. Und jetzt werden wir mal gucken, was wir für Ideen zusammentragen können, zusammen mit Bass und Kitty. Kenya, you know, look her up. On it. <lacht> I think I got it. I found Peace Busara's blog. What's a... Ah, never mind. What does it say? Oh, well, the latest entry is pretty cryptic. It just says land beyond the forest and a, a bunch of numbers. Okay, these must be spatial coordinates. Tracking them down now. Man, this is just like in the movies. And I was right. She's in... Borumaris, Transylvania, Romania? Well, well. Hey, here's an idea. Feel like visiting your ancestral home, Kerwin? Are you kidding me more than anything? But I'm hopelessly broke, and... Don't worry about it. Barnabas paid well, and I want to see this thing through. Awesome! You excited to see Romania, Buzz? Dude, I have been dreaming of this for years and never could afford it. The extra layer of mystery is just the cherry on top. Yeah, well, it ain't all fun and games. We're dealing with lunatics here. Found anything worth examining on your trip to Fishmouth? Actually, yes. Barnabas called it Olmstein's sign. He apparently left it on purpose so that I could find it. Here it is. No idea what it means. Let's see here. Gucken wir noch mal ein bisschen in den Aktenschrank rein. <lacht> Mal gucken, ob wir den Aktenschrank noch mal brauchen. Aber ziemlich lustig, dass es hier... ...die ganzen Akten gibt. <lacht> The Kraken. <lacht> Echt schön gemacht. Wir wollen aber mal mit der Geschichte weitergehen. I don't need to pick it up. It's that mysterious sign Buzz found back in Fishmouth. Flamel's abode. Flamel's abode? Did I hear that right? I think so. Does it ring a bell? There is one famous Flamel I know of, and he's, well, was, an alchemist. Looking it up. Pretty useful thingamabob, that laptop. 51 Rue de Montmorency, Paris, France. 14th century alchemist Nicolas Flamel's ancient home. Alchemist, huh? Could tie into the whole balancing chaos thing. All right, looks like that's my destination. 
European road trip. So, when do we leave? Soon. I uh, still want to go through some files before. All right, let me know and I'll book the flights. Let's see here. Ich dachte, man könnte noch mal ein paar andere Charaktere nachgucken. Naja. Gut, dann können wir eigentlich los. It's off to Europe, buddy. Radical. Yeah, radical. Europäischer Roadtrip. Hier kommen wir. This was it. Paris. I stepped out of the downpour into Flamel's hutch just in time. What followed was some kind of meteorological insanity. Hurricane Herbert baffled weathermen and struck anywhere in the world without warning. That was far from my biggest concern, though. You see, during the long cab ride from the airport, I had taken some liberties with my walk dogs, what with the uh, kind of march of gumshoe puts them through. Bumbled up and explaining to the obnoxious cabbie in my very approximate French that, no, I didn't want a detour to gawk the big old oil rig they planted downtown. Fate sucker punched me right in the gut. I, uh... Left my shoes in the cab. Oh no, we're still there without shoes. Unterwegs. There's a fishing hook just lying on the floor. I wonder how it got here. I'm not getting anything. Wie immer, alles mit ne. That's gotta be my destination, but I don't exactly know where I'm going. It's an old, old portrait of, I guess, that uh, Flamel fella. A beautiful depiction of Flamel indeed, Mr. Olmstead. Your penthouse quarters are ready, right this way. Olmstead, huh? Nice, familiar ring to it. Mal in unser Notizbuch gucken. Paris, mein Ziel ist irgendwo die Treppe rauf, aber ich kann nicht einfach nach oben gehen. Ich brauche jemanden, der mir den Weg zeigt. Als ich das Mal des Jägers mit Flamels Porträt verwendet habe, hat es den Namen enthüllt, unter dem Olstem hier gewesen ist. Olmstef, ich sollte den Konzerisch damit konfrontieren. Looks like a flyer about Nicholas Flamel. I'm not getting anything. Es ist schön, dass wir als Detective jetzt auch diese Fähigkeit haben. Ziemlich unterhaltsam. This might prove useful at some point. I'm sorry, I can't read ancientish. Kein Problem. Hick, habitat, lemilus. That did not help. Aber es war lustig. Must be the missus. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner. Allez! A reddish corridor of old portraits and domestic odors. Get nothing here. Oh, man, can versuch. That's a lot of book right there. Oh, wow. Getting such a garbled mess. It's it's indecipherable. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Been a while since I've seen one of these. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Shh. 
shiny summoning thingy. No resonance. Vielleicht bei der Dunkelheit? Nothing that way. Naja, war ein Versuch wert. So, ansonsten haben wir alles nachgeguckt und dann versuchen wir mal den Concierge zu rufen. Good evening. Good evening, Monsieur. My name is Serge and I'm the Concierge here. How may I help you? It's uh, quite the weather we're having out there. Oh, yes. A freakster. They call it uh, the Herbert. Taking the entire world by, well, by storm. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Paris is still beautiful in the storm, though. I all heartedly agree, monsieur. She's the prettiest no matter the weather. I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. You seem to hesitate there. Is there maybe one you're holding on to for somebody? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Hmm. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. May I have some soup on the stove and I must stain to it. Au revoir. Hm, sehr komisch. Serge ist vielleicht ein Griesgram. Er taucht immer auf, wenn ich klinge. Irgendwie grausam, aber auch lustig. Ich kann nicht widerstehen. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Monsieur Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. But it's for science. Science means nothing when compared to loyalty and respect. Just a sec. Fine. It's a flyer with Bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. Picked up this fishing hook. Don't ask me why. I'm not sure either. Way too many voices to distinguish anything, and they're they're all in French. Hmm. Overrated concepts in today's dog-eat-dog -dog world. Perhaps, sir, but I choose to hang on them all the same, you know. Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. I can't just blindly walk up there. Need someone... <laughs> ah, 
I eat you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup is even the other way around. My point is, I'm a busy man. I just wanted to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. You have the right to your opinion. And the right to ignore your apartment visiting insistences. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. <laughs> Let me think. Um, some things that only he and I would know. Um, aha! All right. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, um, Ketype? Mr. Ketype. Do you know what his nickname for me was? That only... I, uh, I I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Okay, we must jetzt seinen Spitznamen rausfinden. Hmm. This way, this way. It's so good to have you again. This way, this way. It's so good to have you again. Hmm. That's the concierge's prerogative. We can man rausfinden. Oh, Serge, we will be so happy here. Now get cracking on that dinner. Allez! I don't think I'm getting any calls here. Hmm. Getting nothing here. That would result in something positively useless. We have nix to see, no? Sure, Nah, that's not the right direction. Resonance. I have keine Möglichkeit. This way, this way. It's so good to have you again. Ich hätte gedacht, dass er vielleicht beim Treppe hochgehen den Spitznamen von Search gesagt hat, aber leider nicht. Hmm. It's a flyer what bears Flamel's mug. It's also got a writ of his goings and doings. Reading that, though, is a first-class ticket to Napsville. Population Z's. <laughs> she's got a fierceness to her. If there's pants to be worn around here, I bet she's the one wearing them. I'm not hauling that around. Do you not have anything better to do with your time than torture me, Mr. Ketaipe? May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> you may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guestbook. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Does this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? 
All right. I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Hmm. All right. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it... Is the feather real? A quite a real Corvius Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? <clears throat> I, Donald R. Katype. Yes? Knowing full well that this will go into recorded history. Yes. I'm compelled to record into written history. Yes. That, uh, through circumstances that were hard to predict. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, yeah. Uh, where, where was I? I arrived here in Paris in good health. Yes? But alas, while my predictions were of a different nature... In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? For, in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden. Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. In seiner Eile, sich um seine Frau und seine Suppe zu kümmern, hat Serge etwas zurückgelassen. Etwas, das helfen könnte, einige Fragen zu beantworten. This is for you, you Papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. Tja, da haben wir herausgefunden, wie er heißt. I've known it was you. What is it now? Just wondering how the soup's coming along. It was fine until you arrived. Is that it? I can not withstand. I'll let you get back to your soup. Profuse thanks. Goodbye. I'll let you get back to your soup. Profuse thanks. Goodbye. Oh, I'm awfully to ergo. I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstead, Mr. Serge? He's, um... Well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just... Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. How do you remember all this stuff? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, well, 
Huh, funny. Now that you mention it, I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but I'm an old man, and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh, I mean Olmstaff. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is thing? Monsieur K-Type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? It's complicated. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. Das ist niemandem aufgefallen, dass da oben ein riesiges Loch im Fenster ist und es reinregnet. Komisch. A really old, really cricket armoire. Of course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. A Paris, the city of lights. More like lightning now. These particular books had somehow survived. They seem to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. Oh, okay, a little riddle. We want to first look at them. Ancient books rotting away in this forsaken attic. They're no use to anybody anymore. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is and does. Nichts. Schade. Ja, at Zoftu. Ja, an Gaku. Ja, si, Nibo. Okay. Know this, Seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. Okay. Die überlebenden Bücher in der Bibliothek müssen mit dem Pentagramm in Verbindung stehen. Bei allen sind nur die ersten fünf Wörter unterstrichen. Das kann kein Zufall sein. Ein Pentagramm. Von meinen Streifzügen in das Okkulte erkenne ich Rituale mit bestimmten Worten, die in jedem Winkel des bösen Zeichens gesprochen werden müssen. Wo soll ich nach ihnen suchen? Wahrscheinlich am Staub. Ja, Ja. Angaku. Ja, sie, Nibo. Okay. Hat Paris vielleicht was zu erzählen? Ja. What a cacophony. Too many damned people. There is something capital about these titles. It is reflected in the knowledge within. Das Mal des Jägers hat enthüllt, dass die Bücher etwas Großes an sich haben. Groß. Gut, da gucken wir aber in der nächsten Folge rein. Das war Pokotemo mit mir dem Exilium und Give Us a Chittle Adventure. Ich wünsche euch noch einen großen Tag und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge. Haut rein!